All right, welcome back. You're still watching Maisha Prime News. My name is Bujabi Junior, and this is the award winning TV station Maisha Television. It is time for education segment, one of the most important segments on Maisha TV. A multitude of parents, teachers, education stakeholders, and pupils gathered at Mother Kevin Primary for the graduation ceremony of the PP2 pupils. The event took place at the school grounds where Ebungoma Parish Priest Jeremiah Manuni led the congregations in Holy Mass and blessed the graduates before the ceremony began. Then you can even induce a character in your child. How you address your, your child, your girl, your boy. The graduates formed two well arranged queues and made their way to the graduation square. The entire event was enriched with entertaining presentations from the pupils, including traditional dances, <laughs> poems, <laughs> dancing, <laughs> congratulatory hymns, and other performances. <laughs> My name is Sister Juliet Wesonga Nasimiyu, the head teacher of Mother Kevin Primary School, Bungoma, a school which was started by the Little Sisters of St. Francis of Assisi. We serve these people of God in East African countries and even in the U.S., where we also serve humanity. Our ministry, we have different ministries, that is in education, health ministry, social ministry, we are there. So today as one of the ministries that we have as little sisters, a calling that we have of serving God's people, that is in education. Our learners also engage in sports and games, both internally and even externally with other schools, that is having friendly matches with the other schools. Emphasizing the importance of education, speeches took center stage during the ceremony. Madam Elizabeth Namkuru Mukanga, I am a teacher here at Mother Kevin of a graduating class 2023. Actually, today has been a good day for me because I have seen the fruits of what I've been doing. And uh, everything is just wow. I just want to say thank you, Lord, for all this. The far we have come is because of God. For my graduates, I'm just blessing them to go out and be great kings and queens so that in future I see the greatness of what I did at their foundation. Teacher Evelyn Hasoa, I was the class teacher for PP2 Green the current graduates. We are celebrating a milestone of our children after being two years in the ECD section. So they are graduated to go to another level. That is Parents were urged to support their children's education by providing the necessary resources for their studies. We are here to work on As our children graduate today, they are now going to move to grade one. There will be some requirements. I want to urge you that between now and the time the school closed, I mean the school opened in January, you will have liaised with the school administration and already prepared enough to support the children. Number two, Mother Kevin is a private school. A private school cannot run without your support. How? By paying fees, being close to the teacher, and providing all the requirements that the, the teachers will require in order to run the program well. 
The school is renowned for its remarkable progress thanks to the efforts of the school administration in improving the school's overall appearance. And uh, we thank um, the administration for the good work they've done with our kids and we are very happy for the graduation and we wish our sons and daughters uh, that are going to the new grade success and uh, grace. We thank God. This far, uh, we take learners from different parts of Bungoma and that is what has enabled us to get to these learners. We have very good conditioned buses and vans. These are the ones which help us to ferry our learners from different parts of Bungoma to bring them here. We go to the extremes to get our learners so that we may empower them. Uh, we have also the play equipments around. These are, as we are nurturing the learner, we want and we always strive to bring up a learner who is all round, who is physically well, mentally well, and even spiritually well. And we strive so much also to do something called character formation in these learners as we try uh, with the resources that God has given us. So, Headmistress Sister Juliet Nasimiu praised the parents for the support of the school. As we continue with the celebrations of the day of the PP2s, I want to raise a big voice to a big thank you to our parents especially who have been key stakeholders in enabling these learners come to this level to graduate from ECD to primary level. I also want to thank all our superiors who have supported us, that is our regional council and the whole education council in our institute of the little sisters for supporting us this far. Our staff, both teaching and non-teaching staff, you have done a commendable job. Really commendable. Thank you for loving our children the way they are. Their individual differences, you have accepted them. You have nurtured them to be good citizens, to be good children, God-fearing children, hardworking and responsible. Oh, my boys and girls, they are so much disciplined. Anytime you come here, we teach them about discipline, and that is one even of our school motto, which talks about discipline and hard work we excel. Indeed, they are very good boys and very good girls, whom I really treasure, and anytime I address them on parade, I always tell them to remain disciplined and also to work hard in their classes. Siku ya leo imekua ya kufana, na fraye ishule, kwa sababu ni mara yangu ya kwanza kushuhudia sherehe kama hii e, wameandaa watoto vizuri ukilinganisha na shule zingine sikutarajia ya kwamba mtoto wa PP2 anaweza ongea kizungu ama anaweza soma ama akisomee mtihani na afanye aweze kupita hiyo pia ni changamoto kwa shule zingine siweze kufuata ili watoto waweze kusoma vizuri kitu ya pidi e, shule hii inakusa watoto katika hali ya kidini ambapo watoto wanakuwa na heshima the school head wished candidates success in their coming national examination. I would also like to wish our candidates, that is our KCP candidates and our KIPSEA candidates, best wishes in the exams. We have tried our level best, we've done our part to prepare them. Now it is a time we hand them over to the hands of the Lord that he grants them good memory as they sit for their exams in two weeks time from now. We are also so, so much prepared for the KCP and KIPSEA, which we are going to begin as from 30th up to 1st, 30th October up to 1st of November. So I want to take this opportunity to wish all the class eight, the 844 last class, the year 2023, who are 29 in number, and also the grade six, for the KIPSE exam, there are 15 number. I want to take this opportunity as your deputy to wish you all the best and also to wish you flying colors in your team. I wish my, the current class 8, candidate class, that's class 8 and the grade 6, God's grace and may the good Lord be upon them.
May the good Lord remind them whatever they have learned for the past years. May they pass with the flying colors. Furthermore, parents were requested to take care of their children during the long Christmas holiday. My dear people, not all people have the same character, character of formation. Not all people are formators. Not all places can mold your child. Yes, you can have, but use what you have, better what you have. That's why you have heard of uh, they are building the graves that their fathers killed. They killed prophet and now you come to cement the killing. There are characters outside there, you take them in the big, the big whatever, then there are mixture of characters there. These children, they are like a white paper. They pick anything and they plant on their sheet of formation, character formation. As teachers received presents from parents, graduates were presented with their graduation certificates. <laughs> the graduates and guests then came together for a cake cutting ceremony led by the graduates themselves. Congratulations, PP2. Sandra Kidamani, Maisha Prime, Maisha Television.